Travis Madison after winning the yep. 100-meter hurdles. Uh, Jerry Rose, talk to you about the race and how that came out um, it wasn't the cleanest race. I mean, I didn't get out like I usually get a good start. I'm a great starter, so I didn't get that start. I hit the first hurdle, but I just have to stay focused and focus on the 10 hurdles in front of me and just execute. Um, what was it like kind of preparing for this race with some of the best information? We have the number one time this year that we three, but what was it like to prepare and kind of, you know, kind of have a bit of a target on your back? Um, it was very hard. I mean, uh, last night I was rushed to the uh, hospital on the ambulance at 3 in the morning. No, actually 2 in the morning. And uh, I didn't get back until to my room until 7. I didn't get to go to sleep till 9. I had to be up and downstairs by 11. So it was just uh, kind of, you know, hard. I just uh, wanted to just be able to be healthy, just come out here, just get a tune-up for next week's Junior Nationals, and hopefully go out there and make the team. What happened? Why did you get... Um, yeah, I stopped breathing uh, in my sleep. Um, I had I have a, a upper infection and uh, my throat is swollen and I have bronchitis. So that's and I stopped like breathing and it was very hard for me to breathe. So they had to rush me to the hospital. Wow, that's great. And you still come out here and you dominate the year. That's impressive. Um, what's it like to come back from that statement performance where you ran? I mean, just unbelievable time that that one time was like Would you like to come back from that and come to this? Um, it's a huge difference. You know, like. It's just like going from competing in that state and then going to compete with the best, some of the best in the nation. I know some of these guys have top, the top times and no one's out of reach at any uh, circumstance. So I knew I just had to come and just run a good race uh, to be able to win it and pull it off. Awesome, then you're a senior, heading to Oregon next year. Uh, talk to me about that, what's the experience like? Uh, what are you really looking forward to? What are you excited about? Um, I'm excited for everything, just to get up there and work with Curtis and Johnson and everything, and just be able to run under the Hayward magic that everyone says, and just be a part of Track Town USA and be a duck. I'm just really excited, and I just can't wait to go up there. Have you talked to any of the uh, future teammates here, like Reed Brown, Cooper Tier, any of those guys, the girls that are heading to Oregon? Um, actually, I haven't talked to them uh, yet, but we socialize on like you know social media and everything. We support each other, you know, good luck before the race, good luck this weekend, where you're running this weekend and everything. So definitely going to talk to them tonight at the big way when all the athletes will be able to come together. Um, the coolest part is just be able to stay in the dorm and get that experience because it's like that's how it's going to be in college. So just be able to come out here by yourself. Well, some parents come, some parents don't. Just be able to come out here by yourself and just be able to get your little key and your card and all that. And it just feels like, you know, like a dorm like college life so that's very exciting and all the gear and the comfortable stuff that they give you just to compete in. Awesome. Is there anything else you'd like to add about today's performance or about the general? Uh, no. Awesome. Congratulations and uh, good luck next year. Thank you. Thank you.